Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, that's the last, last stop now, back to office. Uh, I don't really know where to start this morning, to be honest. Let's start with... All these messages I've got on my social media about about Sonny Edwards and Tommy fighting. Bit disappointed to hear certain people we are laminate getting themselves involved on social media and certain people who used to be professional boxers. Uh, bit embarrassing, really. People telling tales to boxing board of control not first time and it won't be last time I can give you a list I can give you a list of people and show you I don't call this grassing because grassing's when you go to police but I can give you a list of people that have told tales on us on, on Dennis to border control I can give you a list of people who work in the boxing industry who have given signed statements on other people that are not that are not no to do with Dennis Hobson promotions that have told tales on people uh, I think I've already done it a few times these people go on about morals and this and that and then they're telling tales at boxing board of control I've got no time for grasses no time whatsoever for grasses now we're spending over 10 years in prison over a, a 12 and a half year period I haven't got any time for them, have I? But it's people who should know better. But Tommy Frank against Sonny Edwards is a good fight. I'd like to see the fight. Uh, I think it's a great fight. I don't think Sonny's been tested yet, but what a marvellous boxer Sonny Edwards is. Nobody can say he's not a good boxer, but people ganging up on people on social media. Have these people got jobs to go to? Have they got anything to, to do in the day? Hey, I'm amazed what these people do. They don't get nothing done. Uh, I just use Twitter now to put vi upload videos for Porky's Corner. I try not to get involved in any debate on it because I'd say 80% of them on there are double agents, aren't they? They're all acting out fantasies of people that they are not. That's how I look at it. But it is what it is, isn't it? So, but I'm hoping to get this interview with Dennis now. If I can pin him down in office. And we'll uh, we'll get to we'll get to, we'll sort the problem out once and for all. But some some funny comments this morning I woke up to uh, people wanting to know how much I'm on a week and this and that and blah de bar. Don't worry yourselves about what I'm on and what I do. Worry about yourselves and your own families. All right. Social media, you've got to look at it like this. I actually spoke to somebody about social media, an expert, and I feel loads better for it because people on social media are not going to affect my life, are they? They're not going to pay, are they going to buy, are they going to sort it so my house was paid for? Are they going to sort that? Are they going to sort it so I can trade this five year old Merkin and get a brand new one? No, they're not, are they? Are they going to sort it so my dog ain't got eye bogies when he wakes up in the morning? No, they're not, are they? Are they going to feed me kids? No. So why should I care? Why should John Fuchs care what people say about him? He doesn't. John Fuchs cares about him, his son and his missus. 
right? And his and his pals that are around him. So people get too in, involved in social media, and people in boxing industry get too nosy. Too nosy. Keep your noses out. People's business. But, but like I said, disappointed with certain people, especially people with laminates, trainers, fighters, managers, promoters, matchmakers. Bit disappointed, but I don't comment. I have my comment in video, and that's it. Let people comment on me. I ain't got time to comment on them. Uh, it is what it is, isn't it? But as regards Tommy Frank, Tommy's alright, he goes to Pennsylvania on Sunday with Glyn and a couple of chaps are going to go see uh, Muhammad Ali's training camp. So it's all good positive stuff, in it? Tommy's just been in a life and death. I thought he got beat, but he got the decision. Good luck to Tommy, he doesn't harm anybody, he's a nice kid. He's 12 and 0, he's undefeated. Sonny's 12 and 0, he's undefeated. They'll meet down the line. But everybody keeps talking about it and they're making fight a lot bigger. They're making my job a lot easier. A lot easier. Trust me. A lot easier. But it is what it is, isn't it? So I see Dillian White's piped up on social media. finally come out and said something, has he retweeted something Jose Silliman said Jose Silliman or whatever he's called, Sullivan, Cinnamon, I don't know, WBC, we be crooks, we be crooks, that's what they call them but I don't mind Charlie Giles but Charlie Giles isn't the main man for him is he? Although he is for England, isn't he? But WBC, everybody says the crooks. I don't know, I can't comment. I don't know these people, do I? I don't know them. But Dillian White's been mandatory for 700 days, hasn't he? If he'd have wanted that wilder fight in that time, I can assure you, he'd have had it. Alright? They've had many chances to fight wilder. So Dillian White's not fought for a European title yet. Am I right? Gillian White has not fought for a European title yet. He won a British title, then he against Ian Lewinson. That is it. That is it. The rest is just hype. Oh, he does no good numbers on IFL. He can fight, but if you want to talk stats, and I'm a stat man, Gillian White's got a British title at home. That's it. He's not going above British title level. So. All this about he's gonna do this and gonna do that. He's not doing anything at the moment, is he? Probably he's serving a ban at the moment. If not, what's happening with his in, with his uh, hearing? Eddie Hearn said October, didn't it? So when it gets to October, it could be put back to December. Then what happens? Well, you're six months into a ban, then, aren't you? So I don't know, and I don't really care to be honest, it's now become boring. You've got certain YouTube channels that don't even mention this B sample. Don't even mention it. I did. I went after you, Cad, with my camera. I'm not bothered. Well, why should I care? I don't I ain't got a laminate. I can do what I want, I can go where I want, I can do what I want. So I'm alright me, I'm alright Jack. Nobody tells me what to do. Not Dennis, not anybody. No matter what people think. Should have been at Dennis's yesterday, should I went home. Had an appointment with Dennis yesterday. We'll meet at 12. He said half two. I went to Glen Rose. I went home. He says he's coming back. I went, no, I'm going home. I went home, I had some on. So, it is what it is, isn't it? You've got to be your own man. But, I'll pin him down today. If I don't, I don't. It's not the be and end all. This is not the be and end all. People need to get into the Reds boxing. This shouldn't rule your lives. You've got to go home and switch off and put a film on. Spend time with your families. 
I don't, I don't want to be one of them people glued to box, right? When my little lad says, Dad, are you going to read me this, this uh, book? No, I can't. I've got to suss this, sort this out for box, right? Fight weeks are a nightmare and a week after are, but things are looking good. I think Josh and Mick are coming up here today. I saw Josh Whale last night. He looks fantastic, he's in a good place. Things are going well for Josh Whale now. So, the fights that I'd like to see. Tommy Frank against Sonny Edwards, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see Anthony Tomlinson defend his IBO Continental belt. Which I think is a third tier or fourth tier belt, is it with IBO? You've got the champion, the intercontinental, the international, the continental. So it's a fourth belt down the line, isn't it? But it's a belt, so well done Anthony. I'd like to see Anthony Tomlinson fight Tyrone Nurse. That's what I'd like to see. Now, Steffi Bull, pick up the phone and get in touch with Dennis. If you think that's a good fight. If you don't, well, do what you normally do, Steffi. Report me for talking about fights. <laughs> Report me and be a grass for how dare I mention that one of our fighters should fight one of Steffi's. That is grassing. Report me to Robert Smith or Charlie Giles, Steffi. Make sure you do that because they always tell us who's told them. <laughs> they can't hold their own water. But, uh, it is what it is, isn't it? But, getting back to grasses in boxing industry, who are telling tales to the board? Oh my god, Dave Caldwell put a statement in against Glyn Rhodes, so did Johnny Nelson. Glyn Rhodes stuck it on Johnny Nelson at a weigh in back in the day. So that's a true story. Caldwell put a statement in. Yep, you did, didn't you, Caldwell? You grasped Glyn Rhodes up to the board and then said Brendan Ingle put you up to it. Whether he did or not, I don't know, but you, you signed the statement, Caldwell, didn't you? So I saw some of that stuff for Enzo Macronelli going to report Stig to Robert Smith or something for, for saying, we want the fight. Why, why, what has Stig done wrong there? He's a boxing fan, and he? he don't work for Dennis Hobson. He ain't got a lamb in it. So I don't, I don't know what, where Enzo's coming from there. Stay in your lane, Enzo. You're a pundit, aren't you? You were a great fighter as well. Getting involved in social media. What you should do if you don't like the stig on social media, you just mute him like I do. Just press mute. He is relentless though, isn't he? Well, he got, he'd put a video out of a day, didn't he? 28,000 views going on about Steffi Bull and Tommy Frank and Sonny and all that. You can't buy that sort of PR, can you? But, Stig don't work for Dennis. No, but he's been to three shows, as I said. But he don't work for us. So, but, he's harmless and he's not hurting anybody, is he? Uh, not hurting anybody. But, like I said, social media, everybody gets bent out of shape, don't they? I'm so offended! I am offended! People need to get out more. You know what I mean? If you met Stig in real life, you'd see that he's not a bad guy. It can be a nuisance at times, though, a big nuisance. But it is what it is, isn't it? So, do you know what? Them Jaguar F Pacers, I got offered a damaged one. One there, I don't even like them. I think I'm going to nip in there, mate. I don't like them, me Jaguar F pace. Don't like them one bit. Don't like them one bit. Went to EIS ages ago, and Joshua had one of them before he had a Range Rover. I think he had got his for free though, wasn't he, Anthony Joshua? But no, I didn't like them. Don't like them at all. I'm not a Jag man. I had a Jag, it were a 3 litre petrol. Monday, basically it were a Monday I went inside. Oh the crap, if you're gonna get a car, get a German one. Or a Japanese one. German or Japanese? Now that is a car, that there. 
Fiat van with a flat tyre on a 56 plate. That'll do me, that. I'm a van man. Could you imagine that with a porky wrap? Porky wrap on it. <laughs> it looks like it's battered and bruised. I could soon spruce that up, me. Porky in a van. Everybody getting it a kick outside your call on a Friday night. Porky's vansy, let's get a kick. Oh, let's wait. Oh, let's ring Baby Ting and tell him that Porky's here. Baby Thing will come and lift Van upside down, won't he? Tip me upside down with me, innit? <laughs> Size of him. I'm shaking. I fear him. I fear Baby Ting. I can fear him. Look at that. Jesus. Won't watch him, will you, mate? So... Let's have a look how many minutes we've done 15 minutes. It's a good little start, isn't it? To filming for today. Let's go around this assault course here. Look at holes in round here, man. Unbelievable. But let's see where we're gonna go now with Tommy Frank and Josh Whale. Tyrone, let's see what the plan of action is. So I hope big hitters are here today. Oh, a lot of them are here. Where am I going to park here? I'll get behind Dennis's. Right then, so peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. I'll just tag Dennis's interview with Steve's on tobacco of this. Alright, peace. Should do it. You know what? I don't like parking here. Somebody could lose control of the car coming down, it'll cut them and crash into me. Let me just move this. got this thing right about, in my head, about not wanting to scratch my wheels. Hang on. Right then, peace out. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I am joined today by Dennis Sobson, aka Ron Lyle. How you doing Ron? <laughs> Russell. How are you doing Ronald? Well I love, nice to see you. Yeah, yeah that's family. Everything's alright, how's your family Dennis? We're all right, love. Yeah. All right, yeah. And we're joined by Sheffield gangster John Daly, who's dying to get on camera. Look at him; he is a G. So we roll. So we roll. God, I saw you jean it up in casino overnight, John. You can't help it. You run Sheffield, don't you? They call it G Casino. Is the top networker? And no, hey, anybody who John doesn't know, he's not. Not worth knowing. Right then. Let's go straight in, balls deep, Dennis. Tommy Frank. 
What yeah. did you think about his performance? Uh, I thought he's ticked a lot of boxes. Yeah. Uh, by his own admission, he thinks it weren't his best performance, but um, he got the W and uh, he knows how to dig deep and he knows how to fight different styles to suit different fighters. So for me, he ticked a lot of boxes. Uh, I know there's, a, there's certain opinions out here who thought it were a close fight and controversial decision. For me, my honest opinion is he just did enough. And he, I always like to say, when fights are close, Watch the fight backwards. Watch the fight from the 12th to the 1st and then tell me if you have the same opinion. Because that kid come on strong maybe later on and stuff like that, uh, people go, oh, that was the whole fight. No, that wasn't the whole fight. There were times where in that fight where Tommy controlled it. And um, yeah, he got caught with one or two shots, but um, showed you can tough it out and uh, he answered a few boxes. You look at certain quality fighters' careers throughout their careers and in fact they've had some life and deaths uh, for like domestic titles and then gone on and won world titles so none of that phases me we've been there before we've seen situations like this not a problem I thought he genuinely uh, just did enough to win and uh, he's got that experience in the bank which will serve him well when he has to dig deep for a major major title right well, let's back up a little bit to uh, go on, Sky. Two two week uh, prior, the opponent. Uh, I think it was about ten days, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's uh, a certain perception, and there's been certain people done certain interviews saying that. The, well, Glenn Rose says he didn't know that the guy had, had sixty five high level Muay Thai fights mm -hmm. in his interview with me yesterday. Did you know? No, nope. you didn't know either. No, but like, you know, white, you can go white collar and this other. Listen, I've, I've sparred with um, Thai, box, Thai boxers. Yeah. When they've had numerous fights and they've won titles, and I found them easy to spar with. Yeah. Because they stand square on, and it's a different sport, and like a good tradesman usually finds it uh, not easy, but. The, you can have some kids who's won world titles at Thai boxing, and and not a, you don't have to be a world champion to uh, as a boxer to uh, to totally outbox yeah. these Thai boxers. So it's a, I ain't really got a problem, but he was very experienced. He weren't he weren't just the experience. Uh, he were he were a quality operator. Him at to, to say he'd only had that so much so, such amount of fight. So. Uh, good learning experience, and I believe that that kid would be certain domestic uh, super flyweights in this country now. So Tommy came through it, great experience, and I know we can go and hack it and dig in when we go to the pinnacle. Right, right, okay then. Uh, you've probably noticed on social media, well you don't go on, I know you don't go on social media, you might check your Twitter once a month, but the there's a big debate going on and it's gathered quite a lot of pace with some of the videos I've seen. Mm. Tommy Frank, Sonny Edwards, some fans of Tommy's, some people who we know uh, took it upon themselves to fly the flag and say they want this fight and and that Tommy's not ducking him and other people have got and involved. Who are these people and they saying he's got to fight, so right, go on, mm. who are these who are saying he's got to fight? Uh, well, Jason McCory, a matchmaker's come on board and he said that... Oh, Jason, my old pal Jason, he, said he hasn't that spoke to me for ages, what's up with him? Can he pick the phone up and ask me himself? I'll read exactly what he said out then we can get a reply well, to not, it. I'm not too fussed. You're not I'll too like, fussed. I've got a lot of respect for Jason, but uh, he's just trying to make a match. Yeah, that's basically what I thought. Uh, Jason McClory replied, The British Boxing Board of Control tried making the fight. Tommy pulled out of the purse bid. I tried making it and was told, No, Jason, we, meaning Tommy in brackets, are going in a different direction. That's what you've said, apparently. So, go in a different direction, lads. Sonny has dropped down a division to go his direction and Frank's team, Tommy Frank's team didn't want didn't want it. Okay, pumpkin. That's where he's put apostrophe. Well that's in reply to somebody on social media who thinks it's a good fight, but um, he shouldn't be airing our business in public, should he? With a laminate. But what can you do? It don't matter. 
Don't matter. It's all no, PR, listen, isn't it? Listen, the if you talk about the Boxing Board of Control, when we tried to make Luke Wilton versus uh, Tommy Frank, for when we did it for the Commonwealth, it should have been for the British as well. Yeah. The Boxing Board of Control told me that they didn't think they were going to uh, they, they, they were going to get rid of the Superfly mm. uh, belt. So I says, okay, then we'll, we'll we'll go in different direction. So that's what we did. Yeah. And all of a sudden, when Sonny Edwards asks for it through his people, it's uh, oh, uh, we, we, we want to do a super fly. So well, we've already decided, decided we're going in a different direction now. So yeah. that's hence why I've said that. So yeah, why did they even get involved with? with why did they come back to us with Percy when we were going in a different direction? Anyway, is it just for to keep them happy and pay them? Well, I service? think there's a bit of blustering and you know, uh, thing in the feathers, isn't there? Yeah, but um, well, it's a good fight at some stage, uh, yeah. and I think you know we'll keep talking behind the scenes with with Francis, yeah, maybe Jason, and uh, when all teams are ready, Alan. But uh, I think it's a smashing fight at some stage. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's got a bit of a bit of hype around it at the moment already, yeah, hasn't it? Dennis? You know, when, when they're going to be in tough fights like that, they both need, need to get well paid. Yeah. And I think we want to get something really, really meaningful where the, the one who wins it's either for a world title or they go on to the world scene, because they're both well rated now, yeah. uh, where, or they will be, and uh, it's a final eliminator for a world title or something like that. Mm. So that's where I'm thinking we're going to get, and I'll, I'll have discussions about it, but uh, it's 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 getting closer yeah yeah it's uh i personally think it's a good fight for next summer dennis i do honestly i think well, maybe we could put it on somewhere well, open top or something like that and it could might, be might do it all well might do it all well yeah we could josh have double edit josh, josh josh and him and yeah. cash ali tyrone nurse tomlinson and there's, we've got, there's, there's we've all got, sorts of things bubbling isn't that we've got a great relationship with barnsley fc haven't we so fantastic so uh, we might do that won't be the first open top one we've done would it i don't think the metrodome would be big enough yeah i don't think it would now we'll have to have a maybe best stuff game that i missed now because josh has gone above that now hasn't he um we, we would still work with them, but uh, you know we've got a great relation with Orwell, and they'll probably help sell the fights yeah. and and get in the marketing would probably be uh, that another level. So might get some football fans wanting to go watch oh, it. I'm sure we would because Josh, Josh is the, the most kid, successful eh? kid ever to come out of Bo Barnsley, uh, Barnsley yeah. uh, boxing wise. So and he's still active. So and he's doing look well. Looks in great shape. So. I'm really happy with what he's, what he's doing since he's joined us. So And Mick, his dad, is a straight fella. And uh, calls a spade a spade. When you shake his hand, you know you've got a deal. You can't say spade a spade now. It's a garden fork. All right. It calls a garden fork a garden fork. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no offence intended. Yeah, I know, but everybody gets so offended, don't they, Danny? Yeah, yeah, it's it's so people's lost their sense of humour, haven't they, John? Eh? Huh? Some people have. No comment. Yeah. Yeah, you've said that a few times in yeah, your. I don't want to get alongside the UJ oh, in that face right. coat. Oh, right. You don't know what's underneath it. Sit down, Adolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. <Adolf. laughs> okay, Porky. Hey, okay, Porky. Por uh, okay, Porky Corral. Oh, Porky, oh, Porky, 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 Porky. So Steffi Wolves made his son a bit busy in that conversation regarding Tyrone Nurse. He uh, what, what, said he what, what, doesn't, sell, doesn't sell a ticket. He's blocking people left, right, yeah, and centre. Look, they've had a deal and it's not costing us anything. It's, you know, we are going into the personal bits. Anthony uh, Tomlinson against Tyrone Nurse, they've sparred. Have they? I've been told that Tyrone had the better of him, but I wasn't there, so I can't comment. Listen, Anthony's come on a lot. That's He's a smashing He's got a belt, fight. hasn't he? He's got a belt. I, uh, I'm, I'm pals with Anthony anyway. Yeah, so you no like him, don't you, Dennis? I like him. He's all right, yeah, isn't he? He started it at my gym, and uh, people can have the eye. You might between. finish at our gym. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'd, I'd always sit down and have a cup of tea with, with Anthony. Yeah. This, this is just business anyway. Yeah. So like him who, against Tyrone. Who, who, did, who said this about Tyrone first? Who suggested that? Uh, one of, somebody who came to one of our shows did a video and yeah, said it's understandable because Anthony, he's, he's, he's like he's got a belt now, hasn't he? Got a belt and he's getting up eleven and oh, six knockouts. He's exciting. Twenty. What is he? Twenty eight. Good looking isn't kid. Good looking. A good story. Good talker. And so yeah. He, but is Steffi going to feed him? Uh, below right. substandard guys and waiting for a phone call from Eddie Hearn and then throw no, under a bus. At some stage. Because he can't go to America, can he? Because of his form. Yeah, but so at some stage, Anthony will want to be in testing big fights. Yeah, he will, and, yeah. and he's getting that 
to, to that sort of level now, so... Yeah, but Rob wants not attest to his just... No, but I'm it? saying, now, yeah. and it might be Anthony, and I'm sure Anthony will have some input yeah. into where his career is yeah. going, so... We're, we're always here if he wants to talk, and, yeah. you know, obviously he's got his manager, but we're yeah. always here if they end in and want to talk and make fights, and look, there's not a problem. If, they, yeah. if we, there's one way to make it work. It's all right, they're saying that Tyrone don't sell a ticket, yeah. Uh, that's nothing to do with it. If, if they're both getting well paid, yeah. uh, that's, that doesn't matter to. I don't, I don't know why. What is, what is why should he saying? concern himself with that? The well, fights will be getting paid, won't they? If, they, if they're happy with what they're getting paid, what they're worried about, what Tyrone gets paid, that, that doesn't make sense. I think we had all this, didn't we, when we worked with him before? When well, sometimes it's two ways of saying nothing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, two ways of saying they don't want to fight, but uh, I, I think Anthony had, had once won that kind of fight, but it's up to them. Uh, Chris Aston would take it in an heartbeat, wouldn't I he? spoke to him about it, but uh, I'm, I'm sure now you've brought it up, yeah. you know, that, it'd, uh, that it'd be a fight. It'd take that fight. It's a good fight, it's on that. Our show or Steffi's show. Whatever. They've got a boxer against a puncher. It's two great styles that gel. They've sparred. I think it could be making an anti there. Uh, if it was to be somewhere Tyrone. like Tyrone. Yeah. It was Euro level. Uh, then you know, then Anthony knows where he's at, and um, and if if he were to drop a points decision against him, it, it, at least he knows where he's at. But you know, who knows? Who knows what Tyrone's got left against somebody who's as, as fresh as Anthony? It's fresh a good fight. Way, isn't it? It's a good fight. It's a good fight. He did that. Uh, well. Oh. <laughs> Lab, darn it. He did that, who is it, didn't he? Uh, I forgot his name now. Who Chris Smedley trained on night on Steffi's show. He thought he beat him, didn't he? Have Kyle Fox. All right. He was super middleweight last year, wasn't he? Yeah. Coming down to super welterweight. Uh, Anthony stopped him, didn't he? He's a puncher, Anthony. Yeah, he's a, so puncher against Tyrone, who don't get hit and he's slick and that. I think that's a good show. Good fight, Dennis. Well, moving on to Josh Whale, he won every round. You won every round. You happy with Josh? Josh, I thought he showed plenty of boxing ability the other night. Just shows that he's not just a, somebody who just wants to stand and trade. Full array of shots, wasn't it? Up, yeah. Left uppercuts, oh, spinning him. and he, he, he wasn't just coming out and taking the guy out like the first fight. He came and showed his repertoire, didn't he? I've never seen that from Josh before. He's a, he's a clever kid, he's a, he's a, he's a mm. proper tradesman, Josh. Instinctive. And I really so enjoyed watching him. Yeah, I did. Uh, it's a pleasure to work with him, isn't it, Dennis? Yeah. Because he, he sells tickets, they yeah. they're easy to work with whales, aren't they? Mick and him, mm. dead easy. And we have a whale of a time. We have a whale of a time, don't we? I bet he's not heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> Sufjan won, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Your e won. Kane Sarvin won. Yeah. What next for them two? I think it's just more learning fights. Uh, but, yeah. like, I think what we might have to try and do now is not a test test, but maybe a test where we get some local kids and we put them in, you know, well, a little bit more testing yeah, fights. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what they've, they've, had, yeah. they've had two or three fights now, and I'm like, let's up the ante a little bit and mm. just, you know, see where we're at. Yeah. Uh, right then, so we're November 29th. Where's that, Ponds Ford? It's either Ponds Ford or Old Well, I think. Oh, well. No, it's it won't be Old Well, then it's a bit too cold, a bit too <laughs> cold in Old Well. That'll be summer, won't it? Oh well, won't it? If spring, anything. spring, spring, summer. Yeah. yeah, I think we'll put something on in spring. Cause we get some good weather in March, don't we? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So. yeah. When did McDonald fight that May. Uh, May, wasn't it? When he mm. fought for World Tag IBF on it on mm. your show. Don't but it was cold that night. We had a lot of money to hire that out, Dennis. I've done a deal with him, but at the time the the uh, Donny had messed about. They didn't want us to put anything down on pitch. Then they asked us if we'd cover all of the pitch, which cost me a lot of money. Yeah. And at first they weren't when I committed to it, so it cost me a lot of money that show. You know, as you know, a lot of people. They'd have been better off just doing it and just having well, a deal with him, black people. Gavin and pitch. Gavin and Jamie were telling me they were going to do how many thousands? Ten thousand. So they were going to do ten thousand. Thirty tickets, didn't it? Yeah, something crazy like that. So, so you lost three hundred grand, didn't you? Mate? I'm not saying what I lost, but I lost a lot of money. But yeah. uh, but we got him there. And then that way, even the dad come up to me and said, "Now you can start. Maybe get your money back." Uh, so that's why he turned yeah. when, yeah. when he left. When he went to Eddie, because we got 
I got assurances and I, when I shoot your hand, we either win together or we lose. Yeah. Together. But obviously they're not of the same, um, they not got the same principles and same honourability as what I have. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? But we've got the the stable seems to be expanding now. We're getting a lot of interest. The phone's busier than ever, isn't it? Your phone, my phone. It's it's doing enough hours at the moment for me. At the moment, we what we're doing. It's building into something good, isn't it? At the moment, you've got your head around. I feel good. You've got your head around it at the moment, Dennis. I knew that I would. Cash yeah. Alley. Cash oh. Alley, what's happening with him, Dennis? I was just going to finish that song there, John. Oh, go on then, Dennis. Oh, oh another call. Just turn getting... it off like I do. No, I can't. I can't. We've, we've got... I've got two minutes now. And I've got to shoot. Uh, so, Cash Alley, a quick finish upon Cash Alley. Yeah. Are you happy with him? Yes, I Looks think smart he, of a day, didn't he? Look really smart. He's, he's down Is he out November 29th? 29th. Yeah. He's out there. He's um he's, he's knuckled down, he's, he's training as an athlete, he was playing at it before. Yeah. And uh it have ended up just being I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Dave Allen's career, but he was going down. He that ended route. up a Dave Allen money punch bag. And and it's a shame because Dave Allen could have achieved so much more. Could have had a belt. Could have got a belt. Could yeah, have. I think so. Definitely. Could have got an area title belt like I li Cash. I like Dave. I like Dave a lot. Yeah, but uh, but I think Cash now nah, we've got Richard on 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 the scene now, uh, teaching him how to live the life mentally as well as physically, mm. nutrition wise, and uh, you only just look at him. He looks as though he's he's, he's three inch tall. Carrying himself. To, yeah, yeah, that he'll choose on Dennis. Like Elton, have he got his Elton John's on? Got his Elton I'll have to wear some. Anti Elton. <laughs> uh, but, but we've got to, we've, you know, we've got to move him along. Yeah. Uh, well, he's got a, he's got a level one belt and in area, so that's done. Next level English. He's English level now all day, isn't he? Oh yeah. So but we're but looking I, at an English belt, aren't we? That kind of thing, but uh, you know, we, I think we want to test him out internationally. Yeah, and getting some experience as an in, from an international. So what does that mean, then? Road sweepers and that. They might, they might, they might be coming from places where they aren't got pound no for pound road sweepers <laughs> <laughs> or elite cab drivers. He knows how to be below the belt, doesn't he, Joe? Eh, eh. Bosh, bosh, bosh. It's uh, only banter. It's only banter. You're a piss tech, you. I know I am. Trying to be serious. Who have we got for Cash Alley next, Dennis? I don't Need know. To move him up the international I'm level. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, Russ. Somebody, somebody you've got up your sleeve. Tell us, Dan. Throw us a crumb. So we'll, uh, <laughs> we've got two or three options. Maybe One four. One of them, Sean Thicket. Sean. Put him in with Sean overnight. He's game, isn't he? Sean will fight anybody with any old Sean. You know. Hey, he's as game as you like. What a good game. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a nice guy, isn't he? But what a nice fella he is. Yeah. I like Sean. I won't like a belt off him. <laughs> I bet he won't. I bet he can, I bet he can hit on Sean. He, he, won't be able to, he wouldn't hit below the belt. He doesn't need to, does he? It's the size of them paws. He's <laughs> as, as, as game as you like, isn't he? But uh, uh, I like him, he's good company. Yeah. So, alright then, so other than that, you're happy with the show. The ratings did well for it, they're happy with it. Well, now, best well are you happy with it? Yeah, everybody won. Everybody got the decision. Yeah, it's not just about winning, it's about the entertainment value. Show you. I think it was a good turn. Like test could have sold more could have sold. Oh, the matchmaking were match exceptional. Yeah. Um, and it just shows that we don't just go out there just to get kids wins and just for sake. Yeah. Exciting. Uh, because it don't do them long term. It don't do them any good. Second best rated show at the weekend on Box Rate. Well, in, in UK. Well, 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 how many yeah. views does Box Rate get? Oh, I don't. I don't know what views it get. I just go on the thing is when I look, I check them on Box the morning. is worldwide, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But like I said, on the results, they have like them gold stars, don't they? Mm. Uh, mm. And uh, mm. if you add up how many stars for the show, some of them have no. It's like Steffi's show had one star for Tomlinson fight. We had three stars for our show, so that's good, isn't it? And I think somebody had five will beat us, so. That's second best show on Box Rec, so that's good in them. It's all about the matchmaking. Pretty even ma match fights. I mean, you could put a bad fight on it, could be a barnstormer. It's, it's a gamble, isn't it? It's a gamble, but if you want to go on statistics, yeah. it were a well matched show. Well, uh, on statistics, well, you'd, you'd say our shows consistently 
have been decent matches, haven't they? The worst show you've done with Free Sports for last October. Where were that? The Dome. Oh, sure, where were that with? Steffi Ball. That was a shocker, wasn't it? I won't say we're a shocker, but you would. But um, no, I thought it was poor. Well, Boxwick said it was poor as well, didn't they, on the ratings? Yeah. So well, I, I, I think the you can't have it both I, ways. I Dennis. think there's a bit of I don't know. I think you and Steffi ought to be a bit kinder to each other. Jealousy. Yeah. Is, yeah are you a bit jealous of him? No, I'm not jealous of him. No, I'm not. I'll take him out if I had to clean out for a Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Take him out for a Chinese and we'll make it up Chinese, to you. Take him out for a Chinese. Take him out to Manor Farm, he likes to go there. Take him out to Manor Farm. Oh, I like it, Manor Farm. I won't mind it. Three star Michelin chef. Oh, I like it. Yeah, 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 it's like it. all done, hasn't it? Been done out. And it's got yeah. hot roast pork. Sandwich. Hot roast pork sandwich. I can't have all that. Like, it killed me, wouldn't it, with gastric band, Jody? With what? Elastic band? Gastric band. Are you deaf or something? You've some cotton buds in your ear, or? Pardon? I know someone who's had that done and he looks fantastic. What? Because he's lived the life properly. What's that? He's had it, old um, Chrissy Platts. Gastric no, Chrissy. Yeah. He's had a class. He yeah, looks yeah, yeah. he looks amazing. Yeah. Well I look better than what I wear when oh, I was no, twenty eight stone. Oh, you, know, you know when they had that shirt on all the day? Yeah. And the smart they look smarter, smart they said, oh yeah, they look yeah. well. Yeah, well, it's nice to put a nice tailored shirt on, isn't it, Dennis, every now and then? Well, you've got a bit of style when you want it, but, like, you need, you need to start wanting it a bit more. Yeah, I know, yeah. Maybe I should start getting dressing up, dressing up more yes. like Gav McDonnell. You know, put shirts on like Gav from House of Churchill. Oh, yeah, I don't need to Richard Poxon goes there, so I don't go there now, That 40 odd year old. I know, 49. You're, you're middle-aged man, are you? 49, I don't need to dress like I'm dreading Gav, getting you are. I'm dreading getting to be a middle-aged man. Yeah. Yeah. What are you done? About 37? About 40 summit plus what? 48 plus, plus VAT. 11. Ah, plus VAT. So what am I? 40? About four, 40 summit plus. 45 plus VAT, aren't you, Dennis? Ish, yeah. Ish. Mm. So, alright then, well, thanks for having me here today. Uh, we'll sort that other business out later when the camera's on, yeah? Alright? Okay. Can't be seen too much on there, can we, Dennis? Russ, always good to see you pal. Yeah, no problem. Do you want to say goodbye? Bye bye, JD. Bye to everyone. Bye everyone. All right. right, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Steve Crump at Cozy Homes, Steve Ailing, Orchid Palm Homes, and Nicola at Climate Cool. All right.